What's up guys, I'm DJ Avionics and in this tutorial video, we're going to make an animated like button for your YouTube channel using Adobe After Effects. I will be performing this tutorial on a Mac computer, but it's the same for PC. Just replace the Mac command button with PC's control button on the keyboard for any shortcuts that I mention. You can download the same exact thumb, mouse pointer, and mouse click sound effect I'm using in this tutorial with the Google Drive link I provided in the video description below. So we're going to go ahead and start with a new composition. Let's go ahead and name this main. We're going to leave it at 1920, 1080, 29.97 frames per second. And let's go ahead and have our duration to three, three seconds. And just go ahead and click OK. All right, so now let's go ahead and import our files. So we've got the mouse click sound effect pointer and a thumb up so first thing let's go ahead and drag our thumb up PNG file into our main composition and we're gonna go ahead and start changing all of our parameters so the first thing we are going to have our playhead at the very beginning go ahead and click the stopwatch and change these numbers to zero zero our frame is placed and then the next frame is we are going to fast forward our playhead to the 10th frame and we are going to change the scale to 100% and then we're going to scoot it over scoot the playhead over again another five frames to the 15th frame and we're going to add another keyframe and make it 80% so that's going to create like a bounce out then in and then the next one we want to fast forward our playhead to the two minute 17th frame sorry two second 17th frame right there and we're gonna click this keyframe button to 80 and then fast forward our playhead again to 227 and then we're going to change our scale to 0% Okay, let's go ahead, highlight all these, and we're going to F9 them. So now they're all eased in and eased out keyframes. So let's bring our playhead back. Well, I'll just back around here just so we can see it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and add the fill effect. So go ahead into your effects and presets panel, type in fill, and we want the fill under the generate. So go ahead and drag this onto the thumb up. So we are going to actually take this red out and we are going to have our gray color. Let's do, uh, let's put in the hex code of 858585. That seems to be pretty easy to remember. Go ahead and click OK. And we are going to move our playhead to zero. Our first frame, which is zero and we are going to click the drop down menu for effects and then the fill and then here we want to click the stopwatch and we've added our first keyframe and we're going to fast forward our playhead to one second and 18th frame right there and we are going to click the diamond keyframe button again to our add and now we're going to fast forward our playhead to 1 second 24th frame. And we're going to go ahead and add another keyframe. But we're going to change this color to a light blue. So let's do... Eh, it's a little too bright. Uh, well, and we'll leave it at that. Or you can just uh, type in the hex code 008. F, F, F. Go ahead and click OK. Now we're going to go ahead and highlight all these keyframes and we're going to F9 these as well. Make them all ease in, ease out. OK, let's go ahead and collapse our thumb up PNG. Let's go ahead and go up here, click on our project panel so we can bring down our pointer. Go ahead and drag that down on top of the thumb up. Oop. Right there. 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and change all these parameters. Get the trans, uh, click the drop down menu right here, and then the drop down menu for transform. Let's go ahead and fix our scale. So let's bring it all the way down to zero, our playhead, and we are going to scale this down to five. Just like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and zoom out of our ratio uh, for our preview. Let's change it down to 50%. And just go ahead and drag your mouse cursor somewhere off screen, like right here. Go ahead and fast forward your playhead to the 20th frame right here. Go ahead and click the stopwatch for position. And it's gonna automatically add our first keyframe. Now we're gonna fast forward our playhead to one second, fifth frame right here. And from here, we're just gonna simply drag our arrow somewhere in the middle of our, somewhere around here on our thumb. Now let's go ahead and drag our playhead to the one second, 27th frame mark right here. We're going to hit the add keyframe again. And then we are going to fast forward our playhead to the two second, 13th frame mark. And we're just going to move our mouse cursor away, just like so. So if you bring your playhead to the beginning and hit the space bar to RAM preview. Basically, it, um, the mouse cursor, we want the mouse cursor to stay there for a little bit before we move our mouse cursor away. So now we're going to go ahead and adjust our scale keyframes. Move your playhead over to the 1 second 14th frame mark. That's 15, 14 right there as you see here. And you're going to hit the scale stopwatch. And then we are going to, let's zoom in a little bit. And we want to move our, our playhead 2 frames over. 1, 2. We're going to change our scale to four hit enter it adds keyframe scoot over another two frames over and we're going to make it back to five this will give it the appearance that you are clicking let's go ahead and zoom this back in and fit that'll give the appearance of you clicking on the mouse button just like that and as you're clicking the thumbs up turns blue just like that Okay, let's go ahead and zoom back out. Okay, so let's go ahead and select all these keyframes. And we are, we are going to hit the F9 key again to make them all ease in and ease out keyframes. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and create a shape layer of a circle. So go ahead up here and if you haven't, if you haven't already have a ellipse tool selected, go ahead and select ellipse tool. We are going to change our fill color to the same color as our thumb. So click on the eyedropper right here and click on anywhere in the thumb. There we go. Click OK. And now let's go ahead and click and drag our mouse cursor. Now if you press Shift and Command at the same time, you'll have a perfect circle. And basically, now we're gonna wanna drag this circle over our thumb, making sure we have it all covered. And let's center our circle by clicking over here in the align panel. So we wanna click on this one to align horizontally, and then click on this one to align vertically. So now if we make it invisible, our thumb should be right behind it. But we're actually going to uh, position this shape layer behind the thumb up, basically at the very bottom. So now go ahead and click the transform button down and we're going to change the opacity of our shape layer. We're going to go ahead and move our playhead to the 1 second 18th frame mark right here. And we're going to go ahead and add a keyframe of, oh, uh, click the stopwatch automatically as keyframe and we want this at zero percent now fast forward the playhead to the one second 24th mark we're going to go ahead and change the opacity to 100 it automatically adds it and we're going to go ahead and fast forward to the two second sixth frame mark 
and we are going to change the opacity again down to 0% and we're going to highlight all three of these and F9 them to get them all eased in and eased out. So now when you click on it, you have this gray circle that kind of fades in and then fades out as your thumb fades from gray to blue. Now if you bring your playhead to the beginning, you'll see that everything is kind of coming to life. All right, we're just now missing our audio. So go ahead and collapse our shape layer and let's go ahead and drag our mouse click free sound effect file. Let's go ahead and put that to the bottom, uh, layer number four. Now the correct positioning of this is move your playhead to the one second sixth frame mark and we want our leading edge of our file right there. And now if you go ahead and press the spacebar for your RAM preview, it should be timed up with the clicking and uh, the, the slight scale down and scale up of our mouse cursor. So let's go ahead and bring our playhead back. There you go. That's pretty much it. So now just go ahead to composition. We're gonna add to render queue. So from here, you're gonna wanna mouse over to output module and whatever is blue here, go ahead and click it. Mine already says custom quick time. So just click on the blue words that appear on your screen and you're gonna wanna change this. If, if it's not already, change that to quick time. Mine's already set. Change your channels right here. It should be on RGB, but you want it to select RGB plus alpha channel and then format options click here we want this to be an Apple ProRes 444 video codec so select all that click OK click OK what that's going to do is render out your file with this transparent background so you can overlay this on your YouTube videos and then go ahead and click over here and name your file to render it out to we're just going to put mine on desktop and I'm going to name this U to like button. It's going to be an MLB file, so go ahead and click save and then click render and it's going to render out onto wherever you put the location to. Mine's on the desktop. Okay, so now don't forget to save your project file. So go to file, save as, and we're going to save this onto the desktop and we're going to call this you to like button click save so now as i mentioned earlier i use final cut pro x as my video editing software so we're going to go ahead and quit after effects and we're going to open up final cut pro x okay so now that you have your own video editing software opened up go ahead and drag your file that we just created our youtube like button into your timeline okay i'm gonna Zoom in in Final Cut Pro by hitting Command Plus. And here is our thumb, but it's too big, right? So basically, just fast forward to where the thumb is in full view. And we're going to resize this. All you got to do is resize it down to 50%. And I think that's the ideal size. And then just basically go ahead and position this where... Uh, I recommend positioning it somewhere here on the lower edge of your frame because as you can see here, the mouse cursor will disappear right around here. So keep that in mind. So I'm just going to put this, I like putting mine right here in the bottom, bottom left corner. And I don't even put it all the way up here. Um, I just put it like here so it's kind of out of way so it's not like on my face or anything, anything that's important. And then just click done and then drag my playhead to the beginning preview it and it's pretty much good to go all right well that pretty much wraps up this tutorial on how to create an animated like button for your youtube channel and your videos using adobe after effects now as you're watching this loop of the thumbs up 
go ahead and hit the thumbs up and like my video please I would appreciate that and leave any comments or questions down below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell so you can be notified of future content like this. Alright guys I'm DJ Avionics see you next time.